Hello, welcome to the House That Dignity Built Ministries. I am Dr. Dainty Jones, and it is an honor to be in your virtual presence at this time. I am here to uh, create a prayer for the month of August, 2023. I serve as apostle of the House That Dignity Built Ministries, and our ministry is powered by the nonprofit organization, the Dignity and Direction Group. The email, I'm sorry, the web address is dignitieshouse.org. And um, if you want information from some of the past sermons that we have for the year, you can find them on this page, on this tab of this page. It's Dignity's House, all right? And also scripture for the prayer um, that we covered throughout the year will be placed on our prayer wall um, tab. And you can see an example of that on one of our YouTube videos on um, our, our channel, Dainty G. Jones, uh, where we will recap all of our prayers, um, as well as create the prayers. Amen. Amen. Well, let's move into our scripture. Our first scripture comes from the book of Ezekiel. And Ezekiel means God's strength. It means God's strength. And I don't have that lined up for you, so I'll put that back down. <laughs> it means God's strength. It's the 26th book of the Bible. It's from the Old Testament. It has 48 chapters. And it's in a section that has five books called the Major Prophets. There are two sections that are named prophets. There's the major prophets and there's the minor prophets. The um, prophets are, the minor prophets are not less important than the major prophets. It's just that their books are shorter than the books of the major prophets. Because as you saw, um, Ezekiel has over 40 chapters. And you'll see when we look at the minor prophet, books um, in our upcoming prayers, they're shorter, all right? So let's see what that word, what, what's the word that we will look at from Ezekiel 20? It'll be Ezekiel 23, verse 10. It reads, they stripped her naked, took away her sons and daughters, and killed her with the sword. She became a byword among women and punishment was inflicted on her. Now, this scripture is not about a literal um, woman who is showing her body to someone other than her husband. This scripture is about um, Samaria and Jerusalem um, as they were dealing in idolatry. So as we build our prayer, we will be praying against idolatry, amen? Our next scripture comes from the book of Ezra and Ezra means helper. It is the 15th book of the Bible, it's in the Old Testament. It has 10 chapters and it's part of the section of the Bible called historical narratives. This is the second section of the Bible, and it has 12 books within it, the book of Ezra. Our scripture from the book of Ezra is 7 and 25, and it reads, And you, Ezra, in accordance with the wisdom of your God, which you possess, Appoint magistrates and judges to administer justice to all the people of trans-Euphrates, all who know the laws of your God, and you are to teach any who do not know them. 
So this scripture is about Ezra who loved the Lord and who wanted to help rebuild God's kingdom um, because he was a wise man and truly loved the kingdom of God. He was given a holy assignment to appoint those who were in the courts to be just. Mm, isn't that something that we can still use today? Today, we need people in the courtrooms who will be just to the people of God. Let's move forward then. Our next book is Galatians. And the word Galatia means white. It's the 48th book of the Bible. It's in the New Testament. It's smallish. It only has six chapters. And it's in the section of uh, to the churches. It's letters to the churches. So these were letters written by Apostle Paul to the church of Galatia. And let's look at a scripture written by Apostle Paul. We're moving to Galatians 4 and 9. And it reads, but now that you know God, or rather are known by God, how is it that you are turning back to those weak and miserable forces? Do you wish to be enslaved by them all over again? Now, this word reminds us to um, never go back to the forces um, that are against God and that are not of God. We'll never go back, never lose the freedom that we gain by being on God's side. All right, so those are our three scriptures. So let's go ahead and pray and give God his word back to him so that we see the mighty power from his word. Father God in heaven, we come to you with humbled hearts and bowed heads. We approach your throne, Lord God. Your word reminds us that we can do that. We can be in your midst. We are to come to you with our needs. We are to come to you with our praise. And you are worthy of all praise, Lord God. We want you to know that we will not be prostitutes. We will not engage in idolatry, Father God. We will not worship other gods. We don't want you to put in writing that we are acting like the two sisters mentioned in this scripture, Lord God, the sisters who represent Samaria and Jerusalem. We don't want to be disobedient to you. And we want people to know who you are. And we want to be faithful to you, Father God. We pray to be faithful to you at all times. And we want to be like Ezra. Ezra had enough wisdom to know how to put people in position to be able to protect your people who might have been wrongly accused and wrongly treated. And we want there to be judges in the courtroom, police officers on the streets who bring pure justice, fair justice for your people, Lord God. For we know that all ministries on the face of this earth that are represented in our communities started from the church. We know that the court system started from the tribe of Dan represented by the eagle. So we know that you have a bird's eye view of how your people are being treated, Lord God. So thank you for being able to keep an eye on us so that we will not be attacked um, unmercifully, Lord God. Thank you for that. Thank you for the words from Paul where he reminds us that you are a God of freedom and that your yoke is light. We don't want to be heavy burdened all over again by idols and evil forces that will try to enslave us. We will hold on to our freedom. 
we will protect our freedom, the freedom that comes from you. Thank you, Lord. We offer this prayer through your precious son, Jesus' name. Amen, 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 amen. Well, saints, thank you so much for taking a moment of your time to be part of this prayer. Uh, I pray that you speak this prayer over your life uh, the way I am speaking it over mine. Um, and I um, bless you, I bless you. I bless you and your household. I bless your coming and your going. In the name of Jesus, until next time, I'm Dr. Dainty, and this is the house that Dignity built, August 2023 prayer.